Hey, it's Rayanne. I just wanted to talk about a product that I did finally get to go through and have actually repurchased a second one. That would be the Magic Pads. So this was sitting in my cart on Amazon for quite a while, probably longer than I'd like to admit, but I just wasn't sure about it. I wasn't sure, especially since it says it's magic. Kind of, you know, gives you that feeling like maybe it could be, maybe it couldn't be, but did go through one of the jars. There are 60 little pads in here. I can't remember exactly how long it took me, probably around a month because I did use it in the morning and then at night. This did cost $19.95, I think I have it written down. On Amazon, it's also available on themagicpads.com. So I did, you know, read a bunch of the reviews on Amazon about this just because I was kind of like, well, why did it get that many stars? I believe it was four out of five. How trustworthy are those people? What kind of skin types do they have? So, very pleased that I did try this out. The active ingredient in here is, I think it's 2% glycolic acid, which is supposed to help the appearance of acne, acne scars, age spots, um, you know, normal skin aging, and allegedly with large pores. But let's be real, no nothing, you're born with those pores. Nothing's really going to help that much with pores, but it could help maybe diminish redness that you have from the large pores or having constantly clogged pores, which could make them appear larger. And also glycolic acid, as we know, is a skin exfoliant. So as this is a property, using glycolic acid with other skin products will help them perform better because it's, you know, getting all that dead skin and gunk out of your skin just to allow the products to penetrate further. So very excited about this. There are all natural ingredients in here, which is also exciting. I don't really like to put a ton of chemicals into my skin. So very nice, very refreshing. The owner of the brand stands by this product so much, which, you know, I, I love a small business. I love to support that. So definitely happy with that. It is suitable for all skin types. However, if you do have sensitive skin or drier skin, probably start out just using it once daily just to see how your skin will react. There's a possibility if you've that sensitive sensitive of skin, you might only be able to use it once daily, but you're still going to get really good benefits out of this. So as it does have the acid and some other um, ingredients in it, there's a possibility that you could have some dryness. So keep that in mind, you know, start out again once daily, but definitely, definitely wear sunblock. You should already be wearing sunblock every day. No matter what the tone of your skin is, no matter where you live, wear sunblock. You want to protect yourself. You want to prevent any um, aging due to sun exposure. And it's safe. You want to prevent skin cancer. So just wear sunblock. Public service announcement. Um, I just, I really like this product. I'll show you guys what the little pads look like here. They do have a tiny bit of a scent, but I don't really mind it at all. They're very thin. They remind me kind of of the acne pads. This I think they were Strident or something in the 90s. You know, um, I like that they have kind of a witch hazily smell because my grandma would always use that on her skin. And I always think of that and I always associate the smell with my grandma, whom I love very much. So you don't want to use this directly around your mouth, directly under your eyes or your upper eyelids for obvious reasons, because that's very delicate skin. You don't want to be exfoliating that a lot. My cat just came in here yelling. So how you would use this, never drag things down, always up and out, even here. Another benefit of this, you can use this not only on your face, you could use it on your neck, your chest. I've used it on the back of my hands. You could use it on your back if you're acne prone. I'd really like to know if that works out for you. And actually like how you would do that, you'd probably need a buddy because that's, unless you're really flexible, that's probably hard, but very happy with this. I will wash my face and then use this and then put my serum on and then my moisturizer. And I have noticed my skin texture has changed a lot since I started using this. I have a lot of texture. I have a lot of uh, acne scarring. I have a lot of like little bumps from rosacea. I have really big pores and I feel like this has helped out a lot. I get a lot of like acne around here from hormonal breakouts. 
I get a lot of stress acne because mom's got two jobs. That's a lot to deal with. This has helped out a lot. I don't want to think about what my skin would be like right now if I weren't using this with the amount of stress going on. So very happy with this. I feel like my skin texture has gotten smoother. I feel like my makeup app, you know, applies really nicely. I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck with my serums, especially. I usually use a, uh, like a retinol serum or a collagen vitamin C kind of serum. Still kind of on the fence with the applied collagen stuff, but always vitamin C because vitamin C stimulates collagen and it, it's amazing for you. So you should use that as well. My moisturizer seems like it sinks in a lot faster, which makes sense because of the exfoliating properties. I, I really can't, you know, go on enough about how much I like this. I will continue to try this. I saw on their website that they have two other products on there. I think there was another kind of thing in a jar that I didn't look into and then a, a Scylla pad. So I'd like to try those out. I'd like to also let you guys know my thoughts on those if I do get my hands on them. Have you guys tried anything that you thought maybe was too good to be true and then you were sorely disappointed or you were, you know, your expectations were blown out of the water? Let me know down below. I'm always into trying new skincare. I love skincare. It is the basis for everything that, you know, your makeup's built up from. And also you want to take care of your skin because that's, that's what, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to take care of number one and you want your skin to look good and feel good and be healthy and happy. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Again, anything, you know, you recommend or anything that you felt was just not worth your money. Um, like the video, if you did like the video and uh, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and on Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And I hope you guys find some magic in your day like I did with this product. Thanks guys.